Hi, my name is Maarten Lochtenberg. I'm the CTO and co-founder of Seedproof. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about our range of extruders or which extruder you're going to need for your application. So we have designed our robot extruders to be mounted on a robot, obviously. They're lightweight and we made a system that they're very easy to be integrated with any other platform. From a Yaskawa robot, KUKA, ABB uh, and of course the Flexbot. If you already have a robot that has no use or you want to use a different brand, then we have many options of integration. It doesn't stop at robots. Uh, because our extruders are so lightweight and everything has been designed to be mounted on a moving system, they can perfectly be mounted on a uh, gantry system. For instance, a CNC milling system. Uh, we have a great example of our partner Bolotti. They mount our extruders on their uh, CNC, 5-axis CNC machines, making their machines more versatile, being capable of printing and milling. So several years ago, we started with the development of the E25 extruder. Now in the market for several years and really has proven its worth. However, when you design your first extruder, you'll find out also some of the limitations. In the end, we came up with an entire range of extruders. The E25, then we have the S25, and the S25 basically is the sports version of the E25. Having a higher output capabilities and being able to handle more difficult materials to extrude because it can handle more torque. Some materials are a bit tougher to, to process. The 25 series are a great all-rounder. They can process high temperature material, virtually any thermoplastic that we throw at it. Uh, but some applications require bigger parts uh, and, and higher outputs even. So that's why we developed the E40 extruder. The 40 stands for the diameter of the screw. So the 25 has a 25 millimeter diameter screw. The 40 has a 40 millimeter. Basically allowing us to process more material at the same time achieving higher outputs. Then we found out that some applications, especially in the maritime sector, for big gantry machines, require even higher outputs. And that's why I developed the E50 extruder. This being our largest in the range, mostly used for gantry systems, uh, and the 40 series and the 25 series, mostly used with our AM flexible systems. So with these many choices, this wide range of extruder, which one is suitable for you? Well, of course, it really depends on your application and the products you want to make. This is no easy selection. So the best thing is, of course, to contact us and ask for information. We have a wide range of experts, uh, really application driven, to help you find the right extruder and even the right material if you're in doubt what material is going to work for you. However, a good indication could be if you're in university or a research center, E25 is a perfect fit. It's a low entry model, very easy to integrate, and it allows you to do the research that you want to do. Are you into a more production environment and you have a real application with maybe more engineering type plastics? The S25 is a very nice extruder, uh, very capable and you almost never run into its limitations. The E40, then you must think about big parts. Think about the maritime sector, printing boats. E40 is very suitable for that. Or if you want to do production runs with multiple parts on one platform. Let's say you're in the furniture business and you want to print eight chairs at the same time, then I re really recommend a 40 series extruder. But if you have a very large gantry machine and you're going to do machining uh, afterwards, uh, thick machining, big parts, tooling for a maritime sector, uh, molds, plugs, stuff like that, the E50 is a perfect fit. But once again, don't hesitate to contact us because we have a lot of experience, we have done many integrations, and we really know what would work for you.